Hi, I'm Chris James, and you're watching A Healthy Alternative. Today, we're going to talk about how to deal with success as it relates to fasting. We're missing a piece of the puzzle. You start getting healthy, and you just become a better person. You need to start focusing more on the individual. Okay, so this is a very interesting topic. It's something that uh, I just kind of honestly thought, man, this would this would be a good topic to do kind of as a shorty. And so today we're going to talk about what to do with your fasting success. Because what I often see is we we get really, really overzealous about fasting, right? We We see all these people accomplishing these major feats, 30-day fast, 20-day fast, uh, some people doing 40-day fast, you know what I mean? So we see the health benefits and we want to see those benefits in our lives. And so we go full forward, boom, hit the fasting. Let's say we do our first fast is a 20 day fast and it's extremely successful, right? Here is the potential pitfall. What happens a lot of time is because number one, the success you have on that particular fast, your first fast might be very unique. You might have uh, what we would what we would view as more success on your first fast than you might have on your second fast, meaning that if you're really concerned with weight loss, you may see you know 30, 40 pounds uh, come off on your first fast in a very short period of time. I've seen uh, you know as little as two or three weeks that much weight come off. I mean, and it's it's not super uncommon. And then you go to do your second fast, and you're two weeks in or you're a week in and you only have half that amount of weight coming off. And now you feel like, what's going on? Am I doing something wrong? Blah, 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 blah. So in order to kind of circumvent this type of thinking, I think it's important to look at how we handle our success. So when you, when you have your initial fast and you have a very successful initial fast, it's important to understand what fasting is, why you were successful, how you view success, and what are some, some other ways that you can account for success on your fast? So I always say that the weight loss is just a benefit of fasting. It's just a byproduct. It's something that's just going to happen because fasting is essentially pushing your body or promoting the environment that allows your body to be healthy and heal. And that includes losing weight. But if we look at some of the other aspects of fasting, of course, the mental and spiritual aspects of it, then sometimes we can evaluate our success a little bit differently, right? So it, it comes in waves. First, you may see a lot of physical success, fasting with weight loss. You may see increased bowel movements or increased digestion. You may see scars healing, things like that. But if you completely negate the other aspects of fasting that might come a little bit later on in the fast, but are as equally as important, if not more important, like, um, you know, you might see uh, some of your rain cloud go away, right? You know, a lot of us have this rain cloud or depression or anxiety, things in that capacity. You may only see those things start to go away later on in your fast. Maybe it's your t third or fourth really long fast where you're starting to see some of that stuff go away. And if you're not really looking for it, if your focus is all on weight loss or physical appearance or just physical things happening, physical healing happening. I mean, even, you know, it could be it could be anything uh, your eyes looking for improved vision you may miss out on some of the other successes that you're actually getting with fasting. So one of the things I always like to make sure everybody does is keep in mind that fasting uh, is, is not necessarily like a target healing modality. All it's really doing is creating the environment for your body to heal. And then your body determines priority, what needs to heal first. So Sometimes when people aren't seeing weight loss come off and they feel really, really crappy about that, uh, I tell them, like, look, well, check this out. If your elimination organs aren't functioning properly, what sense does it make for your highly intelligent body to dump all of the toxins that your fat is storing into your system? All that's going to do is cause issues other places. New things pop up and may exacerbate problems that are currently already happening. And you're not going to feel good about that. It's not going to be beneficial. It's going to be, you're going to have really, really harsh detox symptoms, new stuff popping up. It's going to freak you out. Nine times out of 10, you're going to be like, yo, this fasting stuff is dangerous and I'm not doing it anymore. 
right? So what the body attempts to do in all of its wisdom and intelligence is, well, let's heal the elimination organs first, and then we will work on eliminating the toxins, right? So let's clear the pathways out. Let's clean up some of the plaque. Let's get the digestion uh, flowing in a, in a manner that's conducive to the amount of toxicity that we have to now release from our fat cells. So always keep that in mind and that, you know, that process is going to change from individual to individual, from fast to fast. I always say fasting is like a fingerprint every fast, just like every fingerprint is unique, okay? And what that means is even though you have fasted five, six, seven times, and you've experienced X, Y, Z on those fasts, you may on your sixth, seventh, eighth fast experience something unique, right? So always keep that in mind and keep your, keep your success in front of you, make sure that you're looking, you want to have a wide view of the playing field, right? There's so many different levels of success, and it's not always a physical success. Also keep in mind the spiritual successes. Uh, for example, for myself, I saw that my, my uh, ability to discern, my perceiver ability was increased dramatically through this process. Also, my ability to create um, to manifest positivity in my life and also to negate negativity, to recognize negativity has increased dramatically. So these are some, uh, some amazing tools that I now have in my belt that, well, I've, already, I've always had them, but they're kind of polished now, right? And so some of these things are also very good reasons to fast and to, to promote the long-term fasting and things of that nature. So I hope you guys got something unique from this talk. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge is power. And I will see you guys next time.